Hey, fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. It's time for a correction. Yesterday, I published Taylor Fritz racket and I messed up the string. I simply looked at some old notes in my computer, a little bit lazy. Sometimes when you try to publish content very frequently, you don't put enough time. And uh, yeah, it's something I need to improve. So took the old notes that he was using head hawk full bed 1.30 gauge. He is actually using a hybrid setup with natural gut. And you can see that if you zoom into the images that this is a hybrid setup and not a full bed setup. So pretty basic stuff. Big thanks to stringlab.be for reaching out to me via Instagram. Uh, he has strung for, for Taylor back in 2020 and he got the tension and the strings from that. It's uh, Babala VS Touch 1.30 gauge at 52 pounds and at a 10% pre-stretch. So you pre-stretch the strings a little bit. And then you have the crosses is Head Hawk 1.25 gauge at 50 pounds. And this type of hybrid setup with natural gut is still going very strong on both the ATP and WTA tour. And as you might know, natural gut was kind of manufactured from Babala in 1875. So this string has been around for a lot more than 100 years, pretty much 150 years of being in service. Back then it was done using sheep intestines. Today, since the 1960s, it's done using cow intestine and you need two cows to make a set of strings. So this is an expensive string for a reason. And maybe they will find a vegan alternative of some kind or find that multifilament that plays like a natural gut, but they haven't really come uh, that close even today. So you, if you play with a natural gut and a multifilament, you will notice a difference in tension maintenance and in feel. Natural gut holds tension in amazingly well and that's why the pros use it uh, it's a premium price but they can afford it so uh, i'm not surprised to see taylor fritz use a hybrid setup with natural gut in the mains in his 95 square inch ig radical mp because uh, that's a pretty low powered racket and using that natural gut will give you a very nice feel but also open up some more power you can't go full bed natural gut because you won't get that spin and control you need uh, there are a few players on the wta tour lower ranked uh, that use a full bed of natural gut but it's pretty rare you're not going to get that control and that spin potential that you need on the highest level of tennis but for many rec players a natural gut set will last you a long time it won't break that easily unless you put it in a hot car or let it get wet in the rain uh, and uh, you will have maximum tension maintenance and it, when it breaks it breaks and then you restring but budget wise it might still make sense for a lot of players because the multifilaments drop tension much faster. If you want to use a softer string, that's very gentle on your elbow. And if you want to know more about uh, gut strings and the kind of how they came about, check out uh, Cult Tennis, great uh, YouTube channel, much better at editing than I am. So uh, he should get props for that. Uh, some very good videos on his channel. Uh, there are a few other pros, of course, as I said, that use natural gut and they sometimes put it in the mains to give it the most flavor I talk about that like that's the main seasoning of the string bed the main strings so you're going to have a little bit more power a little bit more comfort from putting it in the mains then putting it in the crosses then the polyester string becomes kind of the main string of the of the string setup and the Djokovic uses it in the mains like Taylor Fritz but Sverev, for example, uses it in the crosses. Um, and then we have Federer also using it in the mains, while uh, Andy Murray using it in the crosses. So you do see it in different positions, depending on what they like, depending also on the racket they use and their playing style. And you have Naomi Osaka using gut in the crosses. Ash Barty also got in the crosses and Arina Sabalenka got in the crosses. So it's pretty popular also on the WTA Tour, although I think that they use a bit more uh, of the full bed of polis because they use more powerful rackets that they need more control from. So natural gut still going strong on the tour. Have you tried natural gut? Keen to hear your thoughts. It's a great uh, playing experience when you use it and uh, it's something I, I, I do from time to time depending on the racket. For example, to give you an idea, in this racket my um, head prestige MP2019 Pro Stock with open pattern 1619. I made a video about this racket. It's an excellent frame, customized by Ring and Roll. So it actually has a bubble out grip shape L2. And it says Tennis Nerd here, which it should. And uh, I put uh, Wilson NXT in the mains here. Uh, and nothing wrong with Wilson NXT, but, it, but it's not as good as Natural Gut. I mean, it, it did drop tension quicker 
and it doesn't have quite the feeling. So if you compare it to this um, Tommy Haas personal racket that I have, uh, it have not, has natural gut. Uh, and actually these um, power pads as well, which are cool, uh, has natural gut in the mains. And that makes a big difference in how it feels. And this racket, yeah, PT57A, amazing frame. Despite having a similar setup with multifilament and natural gut, I, I always tend to prefer the gut. Uh, and there are some good multifilament strings in hybrids, Technifiber X1, Biface, NXT, not bad. Uh, but they're not quite there with natural gut, but obviously you, it's a little bit less spend. So um, yeah, that's my update. Sorry for messing up the Fritz string setup. I hope I corrected it here and you got some thoughts around other pro players that use natural gut in a hybrid setup. Still going strong since 1875 and uh, we'll see when they come up with a string that can mimic natural gut well enough that the players will switch. That's it for this one. Uh, check out my affiliates. The links are in the description. More pro player content on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash tennis nerd. You also send some support to tennis nerd. So uh, yeah, big thanks to all of you. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.